I'm going to set him aside because I don't want to hurt my wine. I want to drink it later. Ciao, friends. Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I have a wonderful project for you coming up into the holidays. It is a gift bag that fits red and white and champagne. It will fit anything that you want. This is awesome. And I have a little sneaky, sneaky part up at the top so that it fits to everything. And I'll show you that at the very end. This is a quick project. Stash Buster. Very fast. You can make a bunch of these. So if you're bringing wine as a gift to someone, don't buy a $5 gift bag. Make one of these with some of your yarn scraps. So let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. This is Mainstays Burgundy. This is from Walmart, I think, but it's really soft. You can use any yarn that you want for this project. This is a medium four weight. They want me to use a five and a half millimeter hook, but I'm using a four, so my stitches are nice and tight. I do that all the time. I don't believe this needs a five and a half. This is not that heavy duty. It starts from the bottom and works its way up. So what we want to do is our magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I'll do one right here, but I have a tutorial out there and it's probably about two or three minutes long. It's really simple to follow where I go a little bit slower, but we're going to cross over here, two, two loops here, go under, grab the back one, twist, and pull, and I'm done. Bam. Easy peasy. Now, into our magic circle, I want to work eight single crochets. So there's my first one, and I'm going to mark it love my stitch markers and I always have to when I am working in the round because I don't want to count my stitches. So I want eight. That was number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's number eight. Boom. Now the magic part of your magic circle, you take this little tail out and pull. And now you have a nice closed circle. You can pull it as tight as you want to right now. All is well. Round one is done already. Easy peasy. Round two, we're going to do an increase. And to increase in the round, we're going to put two stitches, two single crochets into each stitch that we just did in our first round. So we're going to increase from eight to sixteen. There's my first stitch, and there's the second one in my first stitch. One single crochet and two in that stitch, all the way around, and I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. And there's my last two stitches, number 15 and number 16. And we just get to work in the round. That's round two, done already. One more increase for round three, so we're going to increase from 16 up to 24. Go into our marked stitch, single crochet, and move our stitch marker. So there's our first stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch we want two single crochets. And then in the next is one single crochet and two in the next. And that's our sequence all the way around to increase up to 24. So I'll meet you back in my stitch marker. There's my last two stitches, there's a single crochet, and my la very last stitch gets two. So we just increase up to 24. So we have ourselves a nice little circle. And again, that's working on the bottom. Round four is another increase. So a single crochet in the first stitch, and I'm going to move my stitch marker. And in our first stitch, we want to actually do two, so that we have one single crochet in our first stitch, and then we want to do one more. So there's our increase. Two single crochets in that first stitch. And the next two stitches each get one single crochet. And then the next stitch gets two. One single crochet and two single crochets. That's an increase. And then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets in that same stitch. That is our sequence all the way around. So I'll meet you at my stitch marker. Here's my last three stitches. So this one gets 
two single crochets. And this last one, last two get a single crochet each and we just increased up to 32. So now we have a little bit bigger circle. Increased up to 32 and that was round four. Round five is another increase round. We're going to increase from 32 up to 40. So a single crochet in our first stitch so we can move our stitch marker and continue from there. So in this round, the first three stitches are each getting a single crochet. So there's our first one. Single crochet number two, single crochet number three, and then our increase goes in this fourth stitch. So we're going to get two single crochets in that stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. One, two, three single crochets, and then in the next stitch that one gets two. And I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. And here's my last sequence. My last four stitches are single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and the last stitch gets two single crochets for our increase. We just increased from 32 up to 40, so our circle just got a little bit bigger. Now we're on round six. Round six is really, really easy. All we want to do is a single crochet in the back loop only. So instead of going through our whole stitch like this, we want to go through just through this back loop right here and do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. I'm going to do that all the way around. So again, in the back loop only right here, single crochet all the way around all 40 stitches in the back loop only. So you see you have the front loops have not been worked right here. I'll meet you at the stitch marker with my last two back loop only stitches and we are done with round six. Our circle just got a little bit bigger but now we're going to start working up. So that was the bottom of our bottle and we're going to work up and it works really fast. Remember this is a stash buster. You don't need very much yarn. Your favorite four weight yarn or a three weight yarn would work fine too. And a four millimeter hook. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. So our next round is we're going to go into our first mark stitch here and do a single crochet and I'm going to move my stitch marker. So this round, round seven, is a round of Suzette which is as follows. A single crochet that we already did in the first stitch and a double crochet in that same stitch. And then you skip the next stitch and repeat. There's a single and a double in the same stitch and then a skip. Single and a double in the same stitch and skip. And that's the sequence all the way around. I will meet you back at the stitch marker. I always do. And here I am at my last three stitches. I just finished a Suzette cluster here so I'm going to skip this one. Go into the second to the last stitch and do my single and my double in that same stitch. In order to complete our sequence we have to skip this stitch. So the next stitch will be directly into your marked stitch. So there is a round of Suzette. We want five total. So, in our marked stitch, there's a single crochet and I'm going to move my stitch marker. Five rounds of Suzette. We have finished one and now we're working on number two. So it's a single and a double in the same stitch and a skip. Single and a double in the same stitch and skip. Five rows total. I'll meet you back at my stitch marker when I have five rounds done. Here on round five. Three stitches left. In the middle one I'm going to do a Suzette, whoopsie, which is a single crochet and a double crochet and as you have done on all of the other ones, finishing that sequence you have to skip this last stitch. And then we're going to start working directly into the marked stitch. So in our marked stitch for our next one I just want to slip stitch so now I can start on my next sequence. See, we've got ourselves a nice little bowl. 
which is the bottom right here. So our next round, which is round 12, we are going to make our mesh stitch right here. So in order to do that, what we're doing is a double crochet, a chain one, and a skip. So I'm going to chain four. One, two, three is my double crochet, and four is my chain one. And then I want to skip a stitch and jump right over here with a double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet. Chain one, all the way around. And we're almost to the end. Here's my chain one. I'm going to skip a stitch. Here is my double crochet, chain one, and now into our chain four that we did originally. We want to slip stitch into our third chain. One, two, three. Let's do a slip stitch to complete our last stitch. Now the easy peasy part. We get to do that for a total of 10 rounds. There was one. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three. This first three counts as a double crochet. And there's my chain one. And now in the top of the next double crochet, we want to do a double crochet, chain one, and the top of the next one. Chain one, double crochet in the top of the next one. Chain one. So we're building a nice little mesh stitch right here. Double crochets on top of each other for 10 rows total. I'm working on number two. I will meet you when I get all 10 of them done. Double crochet. There's my last stitch. Chain one and slip stitch into my third chain right there. Boom. So now we've worked all of the mesh. So we're almost done. There's only a little bit left to do. This is so much fun. So our next round, we're going to chain one and single crochet and mark our stitch. We're going to do a round all the way around of single crochet. So we'll do one into our stitch and one into our space and one into the top of our double crochet and one into our chain space one into the top of the double crochet and one into the chain space all the way around all the way around so again into the top of your double crochet with the single and then in the chain space that's our sequence all the way around now let me tip my stitch marker there's the last couple stitches single crochet single crochet into my chain space and now we will slip stitch into our marked stitch and chain one. So let's do that one more time all the way around. Single crochets. Now you just do one single crochet into each single crochet that you made from the previous round as you worked in your doubles and in your chain spaces. Now we have a nice even area for our stitches. So single crochets all the way around. And last two single crochets and a slip stitch into my marked stitch. We're almost done. Now here's my sneaky trick. Chain one so we're ready for our next round. And I'm going to take a little pony binder. These are the kind that you can get, I think they're goodies, you can get these, what, 30 of these for like two dollars. So you just need one of these and we are going to work around this pony binder. So we're going to go into our first mark stitch and put our pony binder on our hook, yarn over, pull through and single crochet. And now we can move our stitch marker. And we're going to work around this all the way around and that is going to keep your new gift bag over the top without it falling down because otherwise it would fall straight down. It would just fall down because it needs to have a little bit of a grip up here and that's how we're going to do it. 
the cheapest and easiest way possible. So now we're going to go through our next stitch and under our pony binder, yarn over, pull through and single crochet. I'm going to do that all the way around. And making sure that you're going under and through your pony binder the entire time. Just a stretchy elastic is all it is. Stretchy enough and it holds its shape smaller so it will hold up. And we get to these last ones, it's going to have to be a little bit, you're going to have to stretch it out a little bit because that's its purpose. It's going to have to be stretchy. It's supposed to be tight. So just make sure you don't miss any stitches. And keep doing single crochets through every stitch. You will have to stretch it out a little bit towards the end, but you'll make it. Because its job is to keep your the top of your little gift bag snug around the top of your wine bottle. All right, these last few, our last three stitches here. This is kind of tight, but you can do it. Through the stitch, through your pony binder, single crochet. Two more. There's the last one. Hooray! Now we did it. It's a slip stitch into your marked stitch again. And now it's stretchy at the top right here to keep it nice and snug. We're going to chain one and single crochet into our marked stitch. We want to do one more round of single crochets all the way around to make it look a little bit prettier since we just added our elastic. Just finish that off a little bit with one more round of single crochets so it's in the middle of our single crocheting. And I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. There's my last few single crochets in this round and then we have one more round we'll make a little ruffle and it's so cute. There's my last couple stitches. There's my very last one. Slip stitch into our marked stitch and chain one for our next round. And this will be our last round. We're going to make a little tiny little ruffle right here. And it is amazingly simple. So what we're going to do is go into our marked stitch and slip stitch, chain one. And we're going to move my stitch marker. In our next stitch, slip stitch and chain one. All the way around. Slip stitch, chain one. Slip stitch, chain one. All the way around. We only have a few stitches left and our project is done. Slip stitch, chain one. Slip stitch, chain one. And there's my last stitch. Slip stitch and a chain one. And now we can finish off. We'll take up my stitch marker. Snip. Pull through. And you just have to weave that end in, which is really easy to do. I just went like this and pulled it through a few wherever you can get your hook through and pull it through and that's about all you need to do. It's not going to come undone and then we can snip that again. So now we have our wine bottle bag, gift bag with a stretchy top and a cute little ruffle that will fit red wine, white wine, it will fit champagne. So I'll even show you that this is the exact same thing as this. Right here. Exactly the same. Perfect. Stash buster even. Because a wine bottle bag is like five, six, seven, ten dollars depending on where you are. This is a stash buster. You can have it done in a half an hour. Very cool. This is the perfect way 
to present your gift of wine. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back soon. I have so many things on my calendar you're going to love. Thanks. Bye.